John Keane, who's just judged the Harold Graham fight, quickly back into action as a referee this time. This is Pat Mullings. Pat the schoolboy Mullings, they call him, 27, and he really proved himself in defeat in a sensational fight against Spencer Oliver. Very smart operator Mullings, and one of three very good fighters that Britain have at this weight. The other two, Spencer Oliver, the European champion, who's watching here at ringside, and Michael Brody, the excellent British champion. Could be some good fights to come between those three, but Mullings has to keep on winning. And here he is with Havica Petrian from Georgia, with a record of 12 wins and three defeats so far. The word on Hedrian, though nobody's really seen him other than on video, is that he's a quite tough switch hitter who likes to brawl. That's only the intelligence we've garnered. It's not uh, first-hand, so if it's duff information, don't blame us, but that's what we hear from those who've seen him on video. Hedrian is 30. Three years older than Mullings. Good left hand there from Mullings. Very aggressive. Oh, he got him with a right hand and another one. And the Georgian is in big trouble. And hurt. He blinks. He may not be fit to continue here. John Keane takes a close look. He does get the gloves up, but he was badly hurt. And Mullings here is looking for a big win. Good work from Mullings. He's really putting the punches through well here, and he's got him hurt again. He's really getting to this Georgian, who's very heavy on his legs already. And Mullings looking for a stoppage victory. He won this title against Frankie Leroy in the first round. And I wonder if he's going to do something similar here. The referee's taking a close look. Down he goes again with a body shot this time. Right hand. And there's no way back, I don't think, from Herglian from this point. John Keane says no, it's over. He's done it in round one again. And Patrick Mullins retaining his WEC International Super Bantamweight title with an explosive display. Terrific display from Mullins, who's really starting to set things alight. I think that his loss to Spencer Oliver, he's came on from that. that it, it wasn't a bad thing that happened. I didn't think he should have been stopped in that fight, but he's come on so much. You know, he's a much more improved, mature fighter from that defeat. And that was a, a very good performance against a good quality fighter. Well, just across the road from here, the Georgian football team were beaten by England at Wembley in the World Cup qualifier. Here's another Georgian appearing at Wembley and being put away in very quick time by the improving Pat Mullings. And that was a, a good left and then a, a final right uppercut for the first knockdown. And it's just constant pressure, changing his style. He was ready to take a punch there, Mullins, to get his own on. So he's obviously getting confidence in his punch power. But there was that right uppercut, a good, solid punch for the first knockdown. Well, Mullings wants to fight Spencer Oliver again. A lot of us would like to see that. It was the right to the body that caused the second knockdown and the stoppage. And he would like to fight Brody as well. Challenges have gone out. They haven't been answered as yet. But uh, people watching this may not want to be in a hurry to fight Mullings. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and three seconds of the first round. The referee has stopped the, con stopped the contest with Hadrian in no position to continue. Your winner, and still the WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion, from Harrow, Pat Mullins. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, to present the championship belt, we call upon our supervisor this evening and general secretary of the British Boxing Board and Control, Mr. John Morris. That belt may not be the only piece of silverware that this young man collects in his career. He's going from strength to strength. We'll try to get a word with him when we come back from this short break. We'll also be bringing you the best of the rest of the action from here at Wembley tonight. See you in a moment.
wins in a row, Patrick. It's getting to be a habit, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, I think it's just a case of hard training and a bit of determination, really, and uh, to get really where I want to get, really. Were you expecting to do something like that to him because he had the reputation of being quite durable, didn't he? Um, no, I didn't. I mean, I never think of first-round stoppages. After watching the tape, I thought possibly about six or seven. I was hoping to get it over with by about six or seven. But uh, I saw the opening, I went for it, and uh, um, I got it, really, you know. Do you think you're uh, punching harder now than you were, say, a year ago? Um, definitely. I mean, I've always been a hard puncher, but I think um, a lot of it is, is, I think, just through being it, getting the experience now, it all boils down to being relaxed. Um, I've gone through plenty of sort of therapy with Dean, and um, I'm totally relaxed. And I mean, the first few exchanges I threw, I wasn't relaxed. I sort of crowded him. Um, when I went back to the corner, Dean said, take your time, relax. And that's what I've done. As soon as I relaxed and took my time, I picked the punches. And uh, the fight you no doubt want now is with uh, Spencer Oliver, a rematch, yes? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do look forward to having a, a rematch with Spencer Oliver, definitely. Well, here he is, in fact, <laughs> quite by coincidence, of course, Spencer washing from ringside. So are we going to see you two again? Because it was a terrific fight the first time. Yeah, it's right, you know. You know, um, obviously, yeah, it's going to be a great fight. It's going to happen again, isn't it? It's like, you know, Pat keeps winning, I keep winning. It's going to be it's going to be a great fight. I look forward to it. Do you think it's going to happen anytime soon, though? Because sometimes managers and promoters look to take fighters on different routes, of course. That's right, you know, I'm happy for it to happen whenever. It's like, down to Frank and Jess, you know, if they, if they agree to terms, then it's going to happen. So when are we going to see you again in the ring? You're going to see me mid-February, Feb mid-February. So that won't be against this fellow, will it? No, it's against the number one challenger, a guy called Serge Dekikov. Okay, we look forward to seeing that. And Patrick, um, that's the fight you want. Or Michael Brody, I guess, the British champion. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? I'd fight either one of them. I mean, the, the good thing is now, Spencer's here ringside, and this should be out on um, TV live. Spencer said he wants to fight. I want the fight. My manager here, uh, Frank Maloney, he wants to fight. So I think the only one we've got to convince for the fight to happen is Jess Harding. To use Mills Lane's expression, let's get it on. Thanks a lot, fellas.